All praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Salutations unto the elect that are enduring doing this work sincerely and truth from throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth in sincerity and in this uh, raw, uh, raw form. All right. Not taking from the truth, but add, adding unto the truth the power and glory due unto it. All right. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, but what I want to get into is, you know, this, this video is fueled by, um, you know, you, when we live in this world, we, 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 we have to operate amongst two thirds. We have to operate amongst heathens, you know, and, um, main, mainly this is for Jake, you know, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the Israelites, all right, this is mainly for you, you know, you, um, because our people, all right, they're, they're, and it's nothing new under the sun, man. They were doing the same thing in Egypt. They were doing the same thing in Babylon, the ancient Babylon, the uh, the ancient Roman Empire, where they had license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. You know, in Egypt, you know, in all these different captivities that we were in, um, Jake, two-thirds of Jake's had been doing the same thing. You know, um, they come back in the reincarnation. And the current Babylon being America doing the same things they did back then, all right? But the time we're living in, this is the, this is the last leg of a, uh, this Babylon, man. All right? We're getting closer to the end of our captivity and closer to the salvation of Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? And in the midst, you have Jake that, you know, you have every opportunity you know, to uh, to seek the Lord. <coughs> Slaki, you have every opportunity to seek the Lord. Yet, our people are, they're, they're still joking, man. They don't see how serious things are getting. And things are really heating up right now. So, oh, matter before I get into this, because uh, I was going to bring this out second, but, you know, the Spirit is telling me to bring it out now. Okay? So, this is, um... I'm going to, the, the entire chapter from the from the beginning is good, but I want to start from this point in seven, uh, Second Ezra nine and seven. It says, "And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation." All right. So it's, we're going to be saved by our works and by our faith. You know the works. You know it, it's simple, man. Doing doing the things. That are uh, according to scripture Alright Doing the things that we are commanded of By the Lord And by faith and believing Okay It says faith is the substance of things hoped for The evidence of things not seen you know, we, we believe in the things that we read man. We believe that the works that we're doing Is going to lead us to getting the salvation you know, That's why we say we're the hopeful elect you know, Because we're doing the same works That the elect will be doing all right. It says, "Whereby ye have believed, shall be said, uh, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning." All right. Which is talking about the elect. It says, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways." Now, of course, this all starts with Jake, man, because these the laws and the commandments were made for us. They weren't. They weren't made for the heathens. All right. Even when the, the kingdom of heaven is established, all right, we're gonna have that. We're gonna have the um, the law, statutes, the commandments written on the, our inward parts, man. And then we're gonna. Um, it says the different the nations are gonna flow into us for the law, man. All right, and that's always how how it's been. So it says the, uh, they should be in pitiful case, which now I have abused my ways. All right, you now you uh, you're sinning every chance you get. You know, and we, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to jump the gun. I'm just going to read the scriptures and it's going to break it down. <clears throat> All right. It says, and they, uh, they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. And that's that's talking about Jacob's trouble, man. All right. When Jacob's trouble is, it's going to be a famine. It's going to be Esau is going to come in. Esau is going to be doing some damage to you, to you uh, Israelites too, man. All right. It's all the judgment of the most high. All right. So it says, um, and, and famine is that's that's a horrible way to go. The scriptures tell you it's better that um uh I forget exactly how it's quoted. 
um, it's better to be killed by the sword than to to be uh, to die of famine. You know, because uh, when you when, I mean to die of uh, starvation. Because when you, when you uh, when you have nothing to eat, your body is eating at itself, man. You know, eventually to you eat you uh, um, you become nothing. All right. All right. So it says, for such as in the life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty. Right now is the liberty. You know, it, you have opportunity. To uh, to make something of yourself. When I say make something of yourself, I'm talking about to be a, a man or a woman of the Lord. You know, this is the time of that liberty. But Jake, Jake want to sit around and play. It says, "Lo, they have loathed my law." Now, just for edification's sake, I'm going to grab that word. You know. So the word "loathe." Okay, it means unwilling, reluctant. Uh, disincline a verse alright so <laughs> disincline lacking desire or willingness unwilling a verse having a strong now at the all American sales event celebrate America's holidays with great deals on the 2018 Ford F-150 but the point is man this is the opportunity, you have an opportunity and this it says they're unwilling, they're reluctant, they're against it. No, they're enemies of the the, the scriptures, man. The enemies ultimately are the most high. Alright? It says they that have loathed my law while they have lived, they that have declined my law. No, put it to the side. And that's that's why we say ye of your father the devil, because that's exactly what the the heathens do, man. That's exactly what Esau does. And you can check the way he sets up his um, the way he sets up his laws. You know these unrighteous decrees. You know all these different things that he allows to go on in America is going totally against the Lord. And Jake love it, man. You know, <clears throat> it says, and when yet and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after pain. I mean after death by pain. Okay, so that's pretty much what I want to get into that, man. It says, um, matter of fact, it says when, yeah, it's place of repentance was open unto them. They understood not, man. That that place, that that place of repentance. One sign of that is the men doing the work. All right, you know, when, when you roll them by the camps, you know, you're hunking and you're waving and you're laughing. That's your place of repentance, man. You know, you, they don't understand it because we look crazy. Or um, you know they think we're wasting our time or whatever the, whatever the case, man. That's your place of repentance. Or when you know what I'm saying that when the Most High um, when somebody sends you a link and it leads you onto the the apostles or elders a great millstone, and you and you turn it off. You know and you, and you go turn on some <clears throat> the newest mu uh, newest hip hop video. Okay, that's your place of repentance, man. So let me let me get into this here. In Jeremiah, it's um, Jeremiah chapter two, and um, let's see, because this is originally what I wanted to get into, is that uh, Jeremiah chapter two, verse twenty-five. It says, um, "I'm gonna start from twenty-six. No, I'll start from twenty-five. It says, Withhold thy foot from being unshod, and thy throat from thirst, but thou saidst, There is no hope.'" No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. All right, and this is talking about idol worshiping. Okay, now there's, there's there's different types of idol worshiping. This is talking specifically about actual idols. Okay, but um, this is this is when Jake when uh, when the time of Jacob's trouble hits, and Jacob, you know, and you have all these opportunities to turn turn um. Uh, Turn unto the Lord. Our people, they're, they're waking up. Matter of fact, what I want to get into first, Salakia. And then just, just the spirit moving, man. This is, um, I want to get into Exodus. All right? This is uh, Exodus 32 and 6. It says, And they rose up early on the morrow and offered burnt offerings 
and bought peace, uh, uh, brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. All right, because this is around the time where they, they built the calf, man. All right, this is the time where they were they were getting heavy into that idol worship and taking the gold, you know, the earrings and all all, all the um, jewelry they had just to making that calf, man. All right, which ultimately is going into um not believing in the not believing in the doctrine, not believing in Yahweh Hashem El Shai, period. You know, which goes along with the doctrine, it goes along with the laws. It goes along with you know, uh, our heritage, all right? And that's that's why I really want to bring out that in Jeremiah. The um, Let's see. In Jeremiah, this chapter here, because it says, chapter 2 and verse, uh, I'm going to jump down to 27. It says, saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. All right? And that's exactly what's going to happen when these, when these troubles get to hidden. Would you want the law of the law? All right? Because you want to rise up and play and worship these idols. All right? Now it says this. <laughs> they're, this is, they're going to be crying unto the Lord. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? All right? Where, where is your, where's your Allah? You know, where's your Christianity? Where's your where's your um your cross? Where's your Caesar Bozier? You know, where are all these gods that you believed in when you had an opportunity, man? When you had when you had all liberty to turn onto the scriptures, turn onto your heritage. You know? Esau's automatically out of there, man. You know, but Jake, Jake, we are the only people that have a chance of repentance. Okay? <laughs> so it says, where are the gods that I'm that thou has made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble, which is sarcasm, because they're not going to be able to save you, man. All right. So the point of this, the point of this lesson is, the times that we're coming into, man, they, the, the prophecies are getting real heavy. All right, prophecies are getting real heavy. It ain't no time to be playing and, and still worshiping other other idols, man. It's too late in the game to be uh, following after the ways of the, these Christians. It's too late in the game for that, man. We're about to get out of here. This, these prophecies, the most n- n- niggas are gonna see, man. You know how they say we'll see when the, we'll see when the Lord get, Lord gets here. Well, yeah, we're gonna see, man. Because the Lord about to dest- he about to start knocking niggas off real soon. You know, you seeing you seeing judgment being spread out throughout the four corners of the earth as we speak. All right, but when that judgment day comes, you know you are gonna have a lot of people trying to trying to call on to the Lord, man, and he ain't gonna answer their ass, man. All right, so hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off there. And um, hey man, once again, call all you want to your howl by Shimei Oshai, by Shimei Kakodash, double honors unto the apostles and elders at GMS. Salutations unto the elect, Akin, and Lord willing, you know, this was edifying unto the elect, man. He that had an ear, let him hear. All right, Shalom.